My name is Nikita and I'm going to talk about our research on discovery of novel fluorescent probes for super resolution imaging. As we know fluorescence microscopy is used routinely in clinical applications such as fluorescence guided surgery. While these techniques work well for tissues outside of the body, it becomes difficult to apply these inside the living organisms. Why is that? This is primarily because most probes are in the green and blue range of the spectrum which doesn't penetrate too well through tissues. That's why we want to move towards far red part of the spectrum which penetrates well through tissues as shown in this animation. The problem with existing molecules in this region is that they are not bright enough which is not ideal for getting good super resolution images as we are looking at single molecules which need to be bright enough to get detected as shown here. Our strategy in this study is to modify an existing far-red cyanin dye called Psi5 and make it brighter by restricting its motion around the backbone. This is done because these molecules can go to a non-fluorescent state in the excited state by the rotation of the backbone. We want to restrict this rotation by installing a cyclic structure in the Psi5 backbone. We achieved this which gave rise to a variant called Psi5b with 400% improvement in brightness and it was found to be more stable than Psi5 as well. We were able to finally get higher quality of super resolution images for tissues. Thus, this dye will help us image tissues over longer time frames and ultimately understand how cancer cells behave in the living cells. Thank you.